guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking so today I'm at the Shanghai International Motorcycle Circuit take a look at the championship and while doing that also give you the opportunity to see what's going on so I'll just flip the camera whilst I walk by so you can show you can see the general environment and once I get close I'll bring you detail and close-up footage of what is happening in the competition okay so this is the general environment there are many bikers um, here to take a look not necessarily participating but uh, people are riding their bikes motorcycle enthusiasts are riding their bikes here to watch the competition so I'm just gonna get close so you can see what I see so let's go And off they go. Wow, this is top speed off-roading. As it wasn't just the race going on and there were other exhibitors exhibiting their motorcycle gear, I took some time to go around and see some of the items that were on display, ranging from motorcycle riding gear, helmets, moto oils, all kinds of oils, chain oils and all that. And I had nice conversations with most of the exhibitors there on the grounds. There was actually a lot to see and I was, I was excited and I enjoy the exhibition part as well. So it looks like it's not just their um, riding, they, they got kind of like a mini motorcycle gear show and very co cool looking pants here. Yeah, I don't have a need for them now, but yeah, they are available if you if you want them. Bunch of helmets and riding boots. It's a very old brand tanked. I'm not sure if it's Chinese, but I once had a tank helmet a long time ago. Don't know about the quality now. Yeah, this Nolan helmet is kind of cool. some retro helmets here as well it's kind of retro style adventure helmets and these are port pier adventure helmets very nice pattern i like the design inside really really cool at this point I spotted this stand where they had all kinds of motorcycle oils and uh, I was most interested in the chain loop so I went to get more information uh, about this brand that's oh, 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 okay, okay. Just talking about the Tor Torco. I've never heard of this brand. Leave it in the comments if you have seen this brand. It's called uh, the brand is Torco. They got all kinds of oils, they got chain oil. So I was just asking him if it doesn't fling and he said 
uh, the motorcycle loop, uh, the chain loop doesn't fling, it comes out white. Got all kinds of Pirelli tires. Got Pierre Diablo Super Corsa V2. Sport, obviously. And you got the Scorpion Rally Street. Lovely tires for my off-roaders out there. And let's see what's on this other side. So on this side we have what? Pirelli MT60RS Adventure. So 160, that's 160, 60, room 17. Now my Honda CB500X takes 160, 70, room 17. So this is a little, little smaller. But yeah, you get all Pirelli, all the Pirelli tires here. Scorpion Rally Street. Nice looking tire, but that's 170. So yeah, a good selection of Pirelli tires for motorcycles here as well. I see this Husqvarna riding jacket. Looks really, really cool. It's got nice pockets for easy accessibility to your essentials whilst you are on the road and it looks like it's got really good high build quality and I I like this it's kind of like for uh, keeping your phone in while you're riding and it's got really nice padding really really good looking here are the KTM stand I'm here at Ducati and there's a Desert XC on display. It's about 125,600 RMB. I don't know if the price has dropped, but yeah, this is my first time seeing this bike. I've seen it online, but this is my first time seeing it face to face and it looks really cool. For adventure riders out there, it looks mean in front. So it's not a brand new bike, it's a kind of a display bike here um, and you can see some scratches on the crash bar, means that this bike has been ridden aggressively before, but something interesting here, it looks like the impact hit the tank as well, it's aluminum all around, yeah so um, and that's the dash uh, it looks kind of cool it's not oh this is very interesting as most bikes have the filler cap in the middle of the tank this one is offset to the right that's very interesting never seen anything like it so yeah that's the Ducati Desert X pure adventure from from Ducati as you can expect really nice looking bike <music> I thought I was coming here to watch motorcycle racing, but it's turned out to be a fanfare, kind of like a mini trade show for uh, outdoor equipment, motorcycle equipment. I'm really glad I made it and uh, let's go around and see what else is on display the world over is all about consistency maxis i remember 10 12 years ago i encountered maxis on one of my old bikes and the tires were just average but it looks like they're breaking into the um the premium market and so you can see some really cool tires now very soft compound on the outside so if anyone has used Maxxis tires let us know how it performs but from the look of it it looks like things are getting better and that's the Yamaha Teneri very high bike very slim front tire it's got this very interesting LED design Overall, it looks very, very slim. I'm pretty sure it'll be very nimble 
and very rideable in off-road conditions with a very narrow pillion doesn't look too stiff it looks and, and looks comfortable as well never seen this bike face to face this is my first time it looks really really cool try to go up there and watch the racers This was my first ever time watching a motocross race and it was really really exciting to me i didn't know how much exciting there was in this sport until i watched it live and i'm already looking forward to the next one wherever it is if i'm available i'm going to attend The last set of races were for children and it was really nice to see youngsters racing doing motocross racing i was so excited to see that and uh, i can imagine there are some up and coming international champions in the in the group so that was really nice to see All right, guys, I've come to the end of this video. It's the end of the show, and I'm leaving now. As you can see in the background, all the exhibitors are packing their, their gear and leaving. And I'm leaving too. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can grow it together. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.